Today we're at the Rossioli Shipyard and we're on board the 145 Christensen named I Love This Boat. And right now we're in the middle of a full Crestron system refit. We've removed all the old equipment, all the old analog equipment, and we are installing all new digital Crestron equipment. And Eric here is working on these four racks that we're installing. And uh, over here we've got our AutoCAD drawings that were generated in-house by our in-house designer and uh, these drawings have all of the wires are numbered and they correspond to the numbers that Eric is putting on the wire now and it lets everybody know where the equipment lives, what it does, what it hooks to. So we've got a fantastic um, as-built drawing set done for this boat so when they travel around the world anybody who's got a, if they've ever have a problem, anybody who comes on the boat to resolve any problem has a fantastic piece of documentation to refer to in addition to this fantastic workmanship that we've going right here. So as part of a full refit, as you can see right here, we have these racks and there's miles of wire attached to these racks. And this wire goes to every cabin, every speaker, everything all over the boat. So as we're in the middle of a refit, as you can see above me, we've got lots and lots of cable that has been run and continues to be run, and it goes to every single TV receiver and speaker throughout the whole boat. So let's go take a look at where some of these wires terminate. So here we are in the master cabin, and as you can see, we've got lots of headliners down, lots of wires got run. We've got a new TV here. We've got a new stereo receiver here. You can see we've got our drawing here so everybody knows what goes where and how it hooks up. But what I also want you to see is that we've got a significant amount of equipment in here in this closet. And we've got some of that equipment up behind the headliner. And it's mounted up there so it would be aesthetically pleasing. Um, the equipment that needs to be looked at and might need to be touched or buttons pressed or something plugged in, those items are out, but the other items that are related to the control system that don't have to be looked at or played with are put somewhere where they're more aesthetically pleasing that you don't have to look at these components all the time. But we also have them up inside someplace that's easily serviceable if there's ever a problem in the future. So uh, let's go take a look at another cabin. So right now we're in the port aft VIP cabin and I want to show you an example of some of our work. Uh, it's still under progress as you can see, but I, what I've got here is a brand new Samsung TV and once again up inside the headliner here I've got the components for the control system so in case they need to be played with they're accessible but they don't need to be out and taking up room in a drawer or something. Um, we've also got some components uh, in our closet over here in this VIP cabin and this is just an example of what it looks like when the work's underway um, but all, the, all these wires here started out in that rack we looked at in the back of the salon and they've run here so every cabin every tv every speaker we've got wires running all over the boat but uh, it's going to be a fantastic upgrade once we're done because we're taking it from standard definition to digital high definition with full switching and crestron control and it's going to be a beautiful system here we are in the Sky Lounge, and as you can see, we've got quite a mess going. Uh, a lot of headliners are down because we had to pull a lot of new wire. New TVs up over here and this pop-up. But what I what I really like you to see is this completed rack over here. Uh, this one is, I guess, 90% complete. Uh, this is all new Crestron control components. It's a new Track Vision HD11 Brain Box. We've got over here uh, the speaker controller for the speakers on the app deck and in the Sky Lounge here. One of my favorite things about the racks that we custom design and build is this piece from Middle Atlantic Racks that we're using and it's thermal management. As you can see here, we've got a temperature reading of uh, the temperature inside the rack. And as you can see here, we've got a bank of fans. So when the temperature reaches what we consider to be warm, then the fans come on and uh, cool the rack. And then when the, when the temperature becomes acceptable again, then the fans turn themselves off. So it's kind of nice to not have a fan that runs 24-7 because they're kind of loud and uh, these only run when they need to. So the way, we, the way we design these racks, there's enough room between the components so that we don't expect there to be too much buildup of heat. But just in case there is, we've got fans here to handle the situation. The last item that I wanted to show you guys is this KVH HD11 worldwide capable satellite TV system that we removed the old system and put this one in brand new. This one allows our owner to go all over the world and receive high-definition satellite TV no matter where they decide to go. 
So this is the complement to our entire audio video system that we've upgraded. So the whole boat is now digital high definition and we can do the same thing for you.